another nice trick we can do is by using Photoshop to make an old painting look as if it was painted by a brush. So how to um, work on this one? I will print it with Photoshop. I will first check my image size. Okay, 130. Um, no, that should be okay. I will print this one to my core setup. And one of the annoying things is I don't have a snap here, but um, let's just use round numbers. Six and 28 should do. Uh, normally Photoshop will remember these settings if I print this image again, so should work fine. So color, not much I need to change. My drive that's in color setup already. Just make sure the layer editor using same printouts. Print. So that's one which is uh, sent to the layer editor. And now, for starting, let me crank up the contrast because to find the edges, the harder contrast we have, the better. We go to filter, we go to stylize, and we choose the fine edges. And this is what we will use for the white ink and varnishing. Now, um, is my info on? No, it's not. My driver will follow. My driver will follow the um, the density of the color and in RGB. The lightest value would be 255, while the darkest color would be 000. That will that will use uh, most of the ink. So, in this case, it's advisable to black and white the image and um, we'll try giving it as high contrast as possible and just moving the sliders around um, as I see the contrast coming. Now it's black and white but if I go over this I still don't get my, um, my darkest black so the levels might help me over that one Okay, I'm reaching the zero point. Yeah, um, we will allow some minor clipping. That would not be a big issue. Um, that's too much. Okay, and no, we should actually reverse a bit less white. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave the output levels open. Um, just to make my black a bit darker. That should be it. Um, that should give me a buildup of structure quite fast. You see, on, on the dark lines I get RGB 000, which means my my um, maximum point of ink will be used. So I will print this for both white and varnish. So file print using my white driver and now something very important is to enable the uh, gradation because if i don't enable this this is the all or nothing without the checkbox this will be completely filled with white if i enable gradation my white will follow the density of the image so like this printing and i will do the same thing for varnish he remembers very nicely the position. That was a mistake. I forgot to click on my um, enable gradation. We should see that mistake in the preview actually. So print this one again. Varnish, go to print settings. And this time enable gradation. Print. So now it's a matter of waiting until they arrive in my um, layer editor. Need to save. So two are already present. One is still building the preview. Software still has to find out this is a white varnish. 
In the meantime, um, I will print this image two times because I want a very fast buildup of structure. And the fastest buildup of structure is by using the unlayered feature, of course, um, where in the export settings we go bidirectional and we switch on all lights while printing. So let's check the preview. That's my color image. Good. That's my white image. So the ink will nicely follow the density of my uh, of my colors after the white edges Photoshop trick. And now there were two more files to come in. Uh, one being the mistake I made. Let's keep the preview on. Update. So this indeed is the mistake I made. Far too much ink. Um, I should get a varnish image which is unlike my white. So the reason I got this is because I forgot to uh, I forgot to switch on the enable uh, gradation button. So the difference between the mistake I made and this is with enable gradation. You can always trust this preview. So that should always uh, help you to figure out what is right, what is wrong. So I will take this one and I will delete it. I will switch off my preview. So I need white and varnish to go as fast as possible. Um, two copies to have an extra thick layer, perhaps even three. It will go fast anyway. Printing bidirectional and an unlayered setup is always uh, at high speed. Here we go. Let's take a look at the result. So as long as we don't touch uh, the print, we can still add a few layers uh, in case in case we are not happy with the thickness. But from the looks of it, this is what I wanted. This is about uh, the thickness I had uh, I had in mind. Let me try to zoom in on this one. The structure of my painting is now okay. Uh, with three copies of uh, unlayered white varnish. And as a second stage, we will print in the varnish on color mode uh, to have the, the glossy varnish, because the glossy varnish will give the oil paint effect uh, and make it look like a real painting, actually. So varnish color effect, I will add the color. I will add the same varnish. And since we are making the painting now, um, we want some higher quality, so we switch to Unilever. Use the printer setting uh, to give me the glossy effect. I apply this one and start. Color combined with glossy varnish is finished. And the varnish uh, on top even gives a bit of extra structure on the print. So, here we are. And a nice thick painting layer. And it feels you know, as if it's... Yeah, oil painted. That's the Photoshop trick.